Good morning. How how is everybody today? I'm drinking up. Got another favorite cup. It doesn't have anything on it today. It's just a pretty cup. So, what's going on with all y'all? Seven people here. Let's come on in. We're we're gonna drink some coffee and some water. <clears throat> I've had a couple of cups already. Didn't drink enough water yesterday. And it played havoc there with me during the night with a lot of phlegm. And I didn't need anything carby. So, anyway, we'll see. Pigeon Forge, yay! Arkansas. <coughs> Got yuck. Looked out this morning on the back porch. Well, I was kind of awake every hour all night long, so it could be a sluggish day. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get perked up here with my coffee. We had um looks like we had a snowfall last night. But we didn't. We had a little dog named Tulip digging stuffing out of a cushion that she sleeps on. And I had picked it all up. It's never ending. That dog loves to dig her head in and grab things out of that cushion. And there's just white stuff everywhere. She doesn't eat it. She just likes to pull it. So, I only wore this shirt to dinner and for the video yesterday, so I put it back on this morning. And I'm going to meet a fly baby at the fly shop at 1130. And I like this black shirt. I like the leopard, so I thought I'd put it back on. I didn't feed the girls yesterday, so we're good. It's not really allergies. I just think it was just not enough water yesterday. I looked at everything I did, and I, I didn't have enough water. So I've got to do better today. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to do better. Now, it's Friday. Yep, it's Friday. So, Robert and I were wanting to go to dinner last night to, um, every couple years we go to a Japanese steakhouse, you know, where they cook and flip the food in front of you and do all that good stuff. Well, <clears throat> we had a hankering for that yesterday, but we didn't go eat there because we want people with us. So, we called, I called my daughter-in-law and said, you know, what are y'all doing for dinner? Because it was about five o'clock. And she says, Ethan's cutting bushes. <laughs> so he, we're just going to be winging it for dinner. And, uh, and so, but she said, why don't we not do it tonight and we'll do it another night. So w maybe today sometime I'll find out if we're going to do it Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, or Monday night. We got four days, a window of four days. Teenagers have lots, uh, lots to do. I mean, lots to do. Anyway, so let's drink up. What are you doing this weekend? Are you doing anything fun? You got something planned for Family Fun Day? Do you have, uh, <clears throat> what you going to do for date night? Tonight's date night. I still got to turn off those notifications. So let's spend some time today looking at some things to do. And, you know, let's, you know, there's some festivals around that you can go to. Oh, you just, there's things going on all the time. You just got to check in your area. Sometimes your local television station have a big list of things happening. Watch the Noonday News. They're probably going to promote something. <clears throat> so, let's have some fun. Let's get out tomorrow and, and do something fun on Sunday that's going to renew your spirit. And just, you know, have a great weekend because getting yourself relaxed, you might want to do some hiking or biking or, you know, whatever you like to do. Just get out there. I'm going to do some gardening. I think I'm going to cut some more weeds and get, get my yard looking pretty good. Maybe plant a couple of things. 
Oh, going to eat steak. Well, I got to thinking when I asked Justin if they wanted to go, I called him too, but he can't make decisions without Emily. So, uh, I asked Justin, I said, he said, well, what are you going to eat, Mom? And I said, well, I can eat everything but the rice. And she, uh, there's a salad and there's um, shrimps and they, you can have you can have lots of different meats. So I think I will be fine. That's wonderful, Tammy. Wonderful. 56 year anniversary today and you've been married 28 years. Robert and I soon be married 22 years. Life is good. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm telling you, he spoils me rotten. I had my coffee waiting for me this morning. <clears throat> so, let's talk about our body clutter journey. Yesterday, I didn't drink enough water. And did you drink enough water yesterday? Because that's our habit this month is trying to drink water. So, let's... Let's focus on how much water we're going to drink. I try to drink at least six glasses of water in my bathroom. So that's about 60 ounces right there. I've already had two this morning. And then I'm going to fill up my water, water bottle that's by my chair. And that'll be 32 ounces if I drink all that. So that's right, right at 100 ounces. And then if I drink water at dinner, that'll add some more water to my day so I can get about a hundred ounces without even trying with my plan but I got to prime the pump first thing in the morning I have to drink two cups first thing in the morning before I get out of the bathroom so everybody how's Joanna feeling today how's that rib honey now I had to elevate my bed yesterday, last night, because the drainage was, I guess it was probably, probably allergies, but I didn't think I was allergic to anything. But I had a little drainage going on. And let me tell you a little secret. I keep a little packet of salt. I don't know if I have any right here or not. I don't see any right here handy. But I keep a little packet of salt, a little plastic bag of salt, right by my bed. And then if I get a coughing fit, which call, the phlegm causes that, I dip, I lick the tip of my finger, stick it down in the bag of salt, and put it on my tongue. Just, it's just a little bit. And that cuts that phlegm and cuts that cough. I learned that, that's an old wise tale thing that I learned mm, back in the 80s. And it has has worked for me for many years. I've done lots of interviews where I've had to speak nonstop all day. Uh, there, there would be radio interviews and a few video interviews at a television station. We were doing a, a virtual book tour. And bam, it was crazy. And I was able to do it with just that touch of salt and drinking plenty of water and then at lunch I turned my shirt wrong side out so I wouldn't feed the girls <laughs> it's funny it was really funny anyway so let's think about let's go back to those carbs we've been counting those carbs you can get apps on your phone there's also little books you can probably pick up at the checkout counter at the grocery store who knows how many carbs in a chicken breast? Can somebody find that out? How many carbs in a chicken breast? I can't see this because it's too little. I need a big old magnifying glass. Can somebody find out how many carbs in a chicken breast? <laughs> I joined the wild. Good for you. We really hadn't talked about much except me not drinking enough water yesterday. Hmm. Fast foods. Let's see. 
if they've got a Big Mac in here. I'm going to have to hold it way out here. Fast foods. Wendy's. McDonald's. Let's see what McDonald's has got. I want to grab my phone to use my magnifying glass on my phone. This thing has got every fast food joint you can think of. Hmm. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Let's see. Carbs. A chicken breast has 14 grams of carbs. Let's see what a Big Mac has. Kentucky, McDonald's. Let's see what's next. Anyway, most of the websites have, have uh, McDonald's. Apple pie. Biscuit. Cheeseburger. Well, it doesn't call it a Big Mac, but an Egg McMuffin, an Egg McMuffin has 28 grams of carbs. Hey, Big Mac has 45 grams of carbs. That pretty much does me for the day. Couldn't eat a Big Mac. And most of it's in bread. A tortilla, just Robert said last night, well, honey, you can have um, a veggie wrap. And I said, I'm not going vegetarian. I said, the wrap has more carbs than the vegetables. The wrap itself, the container for the wrap would would be like 20 to 30 grams of carbs just for the tortilla that it's wrapped in. So I have, um, last night I decided I wanted to stay pretty much um, carb free. So I had a chef salad minus the croutons and I ask for the cheese. That's what happened to me. Okay, I get it now. They put cheese on, t shredded cheese on top of my salad. So I ate that. See, when you think about it, you know that that's where the phlegm came from last night. The cheese that I had on the salad. And I had a blue cheese dressing, which is about the lowest carb count there is in a dressing. And then it was, I put a, piece of salmon I ordered a piece of salmon done rare on the side so it, I could make it a salmon chef salad but I didn't want the salad I didn't want the salmon on top of the salad because I want to enjoy the salmon all by itself so that's why I had salmon for dessert <laughs> and it was really good they brought me three pieces of lemon, which gets me a little bit of vitamin C, and I sque squeeze that on my salmon, and it was tasty. I mean, really tasty. So, um, now that i figured it out, with y'all's help, that I had cheese on the salad, I'm not going to do that again, because that was rough last night. I was awake every hour at at 20 minutes after the hour, I was awake every hour. I got to see something fun, though. I saw four raccoons on the back deck while Mama and three babies. So I, I have a little rule for me. When I get up in the middle of the night, I turn the back lights on so Robert knows that I'm up. I don't want to run into him in the middle of the night. There is a low-carb cauliflower bread and bun you can make yeah if I was gonna cook I don't cook much when I am in a low-carb mode because I learned how to eat out and I know how to cheat too and I can tell when I'm getting ready to cheat because I order um, an R a, a low a no sugar what I order is a 
an unsweet tea Arnold Palmer. So they put lemonade in the tea. Well, the other day they didn't have any lemonade. This is before I started. It's a week ago. I, before I started this um, little journey I'm on. And so the guy in the back said, we got some lemon juice. Can I just put lemon juice in your tea? And I said, well, that'll be fine. And now it's really good. Just plain old lemon juice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start taking my true lemon with me because it's just lemon. It's dehydrated lemon juice with me. And let's see, I've gone low carb this week. I stepped on the scale this morning and I lost 5.6 pounds. Wow. My cravings are past. This is good. This is good. Now, a lot of that is water weight. But if you can lose 2 to 3 pounds a week, that's sustainable. That is really sustainable. Justin was telling me last night that I could get a hamburger at our favorite hamburger joint in Asheville called Juicy Lucy's. And they would wrap it in... And lettuce. That sounds fun too. I've done lettuce wraps, which is instead of a bun. That works. But sometimes I don't like lettuce that much out. But I did eat a salad last night. So sprinkle true lime on an avocado. Oh, I will try that, Melanie. I will try that. I set my Fitbit to vibrate at the top of each hour to drink a cup of I need another fitness tracker. My fitness tracker went bankrupt. It was jawbone and they sold out or something and, and I miss my fitness tracker. I miss tracking my sleep. I miss it. So would you recommend a Fitbit? Hey Jenny from Rosman. <clears throat> and this is good. I'm not going to really weigh until Monday. And that way it will be right at uh, 10, 11 days. So I can tell my clothes are getting loose because I haven't hiked my britches up in the back. Because I, I may have a butt, but when it goes away, it goes away fast. So let, let's know what we're going to eat. Do, do you know what you're going to have for dinner tonight? Already, here it is, 10, 17 a.m. Eastern Stand Eastern Daylight Time. Do you know what's for dinner? That's half the battle, y'all, knowing what's for dinner. Because when you know what's for dinner, you can plan your day around that. Yes, you love your Fitbit. I may have to get on Amazon and order me one. <clears throat> I like I like something that didn't look like a watch, but I'm wearing my my um my eye watch and I love that thing. I started money and lost five pounds. I know it's mainly water. It's that inflammation when you start eating low carb and get rid of the get rid of the gluten and the cheese, evidently. It's it's great. It's great. So it takes about 10 days for, for the inflammation to get down. But when it does, and there's some little litwis, litwis papers you can get that I have a stock of. And I haven't tried them yet to see if I'm in ketosis. But I know I am. I can tell by the way my stomach kind of churns. Well, get you a new battery, Lord. Get you a new battery. Put that on your list to get this weekend. Turn it over and take it apart and find out what kind of battery. Order one from Amazon or go to the drugstore and get one. Yeah, that... Most of the time, blood pressure medicine is partly a diuretic. Because when, when you're holding on to water weight... Now, I learned this little tip a long, long time ago. Uh, what the salt where let me get see if I can get it right the water goes where the salt goes and the salt goes where the water goes so when you drink water you're flushing the salts 
out of your system. It's flushing those toxins out. When, when you eat salt, you hold on to water. That's why the doctor wants you to cut out, cut out salt when your blood pressure is a little up. So if you'll cut back on your salt or drink more water, one or the other, drink more water and get rid of the salt. Now, when you're low carbon, if you'll read the last few chapters in the book, Why We Get Fat by Gary Tobbs, you'll, you'll see some tips on if you start getting Charlie horses, that means you're drinking, uh, you're losing too much potassium. So you may need to have a little more salt to hold on. So you've got to check with your doctor on all this stuff. Uh, there are several principles of blood pressure medications. Yes, and mine, it depends on the medication. But my, my husband was on a couple of different types. He was on a diuretic and then he was on a blood pressure medicine. Now, my blood pressure medicine has a diuretic in it. <sighs> Get rid of the salt. Oh. Now, when you drink enough water, it helps you. It helps everything. You know, you can't flush the toilet without water. Well, you can't get toxins out of your body and refuge out of your body without water. So you got to drink plenty of water. Got to drink plenty of water. Sea salt is wonderful. I mean, absolutely wonderful. You get a little... A little, um, there's all kinds of good stuff in sea salt. A lot of different minerals in sea salt. Well, everybody, y'all have a good day. Plan, date night, clean your car out. I had to get you a little exercise. Clean your car out and plan something fun to do with family tomorrow. And y'all have a good day. Have a good day. Here's to drinking our three glasses of lemon water. Yay, Debbie. I'm having my coffee and then I'll have some more water. Getting rid of, as Leanne and I said in, in our, I didn't even hold the book up today. Let me hold the book up. As Leanne and I said in Body Clutter, shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Go to your farmer's market. That'll be a fun thing to do. This weekend is go to a farmer's market shop the perimeter buy things with less than three ingredients in them duh I hate that word but I said it <laughs> three, less than three ingredients shop fresh fruits and vegetables mainly vegetables because fruits are really high in carbs and you can need to limit your fr fruits if you're going to go low carb and I'm doing less than less than uh, 25 grams of carbs a day, and I'm sticking with that. So I'm I'm really happy. When you're eating keto, your body does not hold onto water like eat, eating carbs. It really doesn't. It doesn't hold on to this stuff. And eat good food, wholesome food. I mean, Robert was looking yesterday at our little fellow that um, has a fruit stand. He's looking for some South Carolina peaches. That's what he wants, some South Carolina peaches. I think he's got some Georgia peaches, but he loves his peaches in the summer. Y'all have fun. And I'll see you tomorrow. Really hadn't talked about much. There's my brother-in-law. Green, stick with green leafy vegetables, y'all. Lots of green leafy vegetables. Please explain keto. Well, when you eat low carb, your body processes the fat in instead of the food you put in your body. You've heard athletes who need to carb up. Well, they need that direct energy from the food that they're eating right now. I have stored a lot of food on my body, as you can tell. And 
when you're going when you're in ketosis you are processing the fats that you've stored uh, berries are low in not if you eat two cups of them they're not but if you eat two or three they're okay you can put a couple of berries in your water uh, they have lots of fiber in them too I don't eat a lot of berries just because they they are higher carb what's the difference between keto or what's the difference I don't Atkins is low carb and any I'm just counting carbs it's not really a keto diet. It's not, I'm eating lots of green leafy vegetables. I'm having a salad with every meal. And I'm just trying to stay below 25 grams of carbs, sometimes lower than that. But I'm releasing those carbs. And another thing I do is I don't eat after 7 p.m. That's my cutoff time. I don't eat after 7. And then I go and our dinner time is 6 p.m. So I go from from 7 p.m. all the way around the clock till 6. That's 23 hours of intermittent fasting. So that helps me to get to put my body into this ketos, ketosis and and I'm it's just really Yes, under 25 grams of carbs per day. And it's real easy. You eat a meat, you eat some green vegetables, and a salad. And it's great. Just look at how much, how many carbs are in an apple, how many carbs in a peach, how many carbs in a cup of berries. So everybody, green leafy vegetables. It doesn't necessarily have to be lettuce. It can be spinach. It can be um, endive. It can be romaine. There's lots of different greens out there. I really like mustard greens. I love mustard greens, but I haven't been able to find any this year. I like mustard green, radishes, and green onions, and then cook some bacon and pour it over it. <clears throat> 30 grams. That's good, Debbie. That's real good. So everybody, get with it. I got to get this downloaded and uploaded and all the things. I had a mess yesterday afternoon. I went over on our Thursday afternoon show and it just did not want to download. So I got to stay within an hour for Thursday shows. Everybody, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.